The EPA demanded Norfolk Southern to clean up the mess they made in the train derailment. The EPA, or the United States Environmental Protection Agency, is a federal agency tasked with protecting human health and the environment. The agency was established in 1970 by President Richard Nixon through an executive order in response to growing public concern about the impacts of pollution and environmental degradation. The EPA is responsible for enforcing a range of environmental laws, including the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, and the Toxic Substances Control Act, among others. These laws set standards for air and water quality, regulate hazardous waste management, and control the use and disposal of toxic chemicals. The agency also conducts research and provides information on environmental issues, working to educate the public and promote sustainable practices. Additionally, the EPA works in partnership with state and local governments, as well as with industry and other stakeholders, to develop and implement policies and programs that protect the environment while promoting economic growth. The EPA is led by an administrator, who is appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. The current administrator is Michael S. Regan, who was appointed by President Joe Biden in 2021. The agency is headquartered in Washington, D.C., and has regional offices throughout the country. The regional offices are responsible for implementing environmental programs and regulations within their respective regions, working closely with state and local partners to achieve environmental goals. Over the years, the EPA has played a significant role in protecting the environment and improving public health. The agency has worked to reduce air and water pollution, regulate hazardous waste disposal, and address environmental justice issues, among other achievements. For example, the EPA played a key role in the phase out of leaded gasoline, which helped to reduce lead exposure and improve air quality. The agency has also implemented regulations to reduce emissions from power plants and vehicles, which has led to significant reductions in air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. In recent years, the EPA has faced criticism and challenges from some politicians and industry groups who argue that the agency's regulations and enforcement actions are too burdensome and inhibit economic growth. Others have raised concerns about the agency's ability to effectively protect the environment and public health, particularly in the face of new and emerging environmental challenges, such as climate change. Despite these challenges, the EPA remains a critical agency in the United States government's efforts to protect the environment and public health. The agency's work helps to ensure that Americans have access to clean air and water, and that the natural resources we rely on are protected for future generations. The company that is going to take the blame for the East Palestine is Norfolk Southern. Norfolk Southern is a major transportation company that operates a freight railroad system in the eastern United States. The company was formed in 1982 as a result of the merger between Southern Railway and Norfolk and Western Railway. Today, Norfolk Southern is one of the largest freight railroads in North America, with a network that spans 22 states and the District of Columbia. In this article, we will provide a detailed overview of Norfolk Southern, including its history, operations, and impact on the transportation industry. History Norfolk Southern has its roots in two predecessor companies, Southern Railway and Norfolk and Western Railway, both of which had a long history of providing rail transportation in the southeastern United States. Southern Railway was founded in 1894 and operated a network of railroads that stretched from Virginia to Florida. Norfolk and Western Railway was founded in 1881 and primarily served the coal mining regions of Virginia and West Virginia. The two companies merged in 1982, creating Norfolk Southern Corporation. The merger was the result of a changing transportation landscape, with the deregulation of the industry making it possible for railroads to expand their operations across state lines. Norfolk Southern quickly became a major player in the industry, with a network that included more than 20,000 miles of track and access to major ports and markets in the eastern United States. 
Operations Norfolk Southern's operations are divided into three business units, coal, merchandise, and intermodal. The coal business unit transports coal from mines in Appalachia to power plants and other customers across the eastern United States. The merchandise business unit transports a wide range of goods, including automotive parts, chemicals, and agricultural products. The intermodal business unit transports goods in containers that can be easily transferred between trains, trucks, and ships. Norfolk Southern operates a fleet of more than 3,000 locomotives and more than 80,000 railcars. The company employs more than 22,000 people and has operations in 22 states, and the District of Columbia. In addition to its rail transportation services, Norfolk Southern also operates a number of ancillary businesses, including railcar repair and maintenance services, and owns and operates a major intermodal terminal in Memphis, Tennessee. Impact on the transportation industry Norfolk Southern is one of the largest freight railroads in North America, and its operations have a significant impact on the transportation industry. The company plays a key role in transporting goods across the eastern United States, including goods that are essential to the economy, such as coal, chemicals, and automotive parts. The company also has a major impact on the communities it serves, both through its employment of thousands of people and its investments in infrastructure and community development. Norfolk Southern is committed to sustainable business practices and has made significant investments in reducing its environmental impact, including through the use of more fuel-efficient locomotives and the implementation of green technologies in its operations. Conclusion Norfolk Southern is a major transportation company with a rich history and a significant impact on the transportation industry. The company's operations are essential to the movement of goods across the eastern United States, and its commitment to sustainable business practices and community development make it an important corporate citizen. As the transportation industry continues to evolve, Norfolk Southern is well positioned to continue its leadership in the industry and play a key role in driving economic growth and development. The cleanup of a train derailment carrying dangerous chemicals can be a complicated and time-consuming process, as it involves a range of safety protocols and environmental considerations. The length of time it takes to clean up a train derailment can vary widely depending on factors such as the severity of the incident, the type and quantity of hazardous materials involved, and the location of the derailment. The first step in any train derailment cleanup is to ensure that the area is safe for workers and the surrounding community. This involves assessing the risk of fires, explosions, and other hazards, and implementing safety measures such as evacuation orders and protective gear for workers. Once the area is secured, the cleanup can begin. The initial phase of the cleanup typically involves removing any debris and wreckage from the derailment site. This can include the train cars themselves, as well as any cargo that has spilled onto the ground. If the derailment occurred in a populated area, the cleanup may also involve repairing any damage to buildings, roads, or other infrastructure. Once the debris has been cleared, the focus shifts to removing the hazardous materials from the site. This can involve a range of methods, depending on the nature of the materials involved. For example, if the hazardous material is a liquid, it may need to be contained and pumped out of the site. If it is a solid or a gas, it may need to be scooped up or neutralized using special equipment and chemicals. The cleanup team also needs to consider the potential impact of the hazardous materials on the environment. This can include assessing the risk of contamination to soil, water, and air, and implementing measures to prevent or mitigate any damage. For example, if the hazardous material has contaminated the soil, the cleanup team may need to excavate and dispose of the contaminated soil in a designated hazardous waste facility. The final phase of the cleanup involves restoring the site to its pre-incident condition. This can involve landscaping, repaving, and other measures to ensure that the area is safe and accessible. 
In some cases, the site may need to be monitored for ongoing environmental impacts, such as groundwater contamination, for an extended period after the cleanup is complete. The length of time it takes to complete a train derailment cleanup can vary widely, depending on the complexity of the incident and the nature of the hazardous materials involved. In some cases, the cleanup may take only a few days or weeks, while in others it may take months or even years. The costs of the cleanup can also vary widely, depending on the scope of the incident and the measures needed to ensure worker and public safety. In addition to the physical cleanup, there are also legal and financial considerations that need to be addressed in the aftermath of a train derailment. The company responsible for the derailment may be held liable for damages to property, the environment, and public health, and may need to pay for the costs of the cleanup and any ongoing monitoring and remediation efforts. Overall, the cleanup of a train derailment carrying dangerous chemicals can be a challenging and complex process that requires careful planning, coordination, and expertise. The length of time it takes to complete the cleanup will depend on a range of factors, but it is important to ensure that the safety of workers and the surrounding community is the top priority throughout the process.